Hey guys, it is me, Kisame Unlimited, and today I'm doing my top 10 hated Yu-Gi-Oh cards of 2016. Last month I did my top 10 hated decks of 2016, so now it's time for me to get down and dirty and talk about the cards that I necessarily hate with a burning, burning, burning passion. So if you guys would like to see another top 10 hated decks month, don't forget to like the video. 800 likes would be the goal, and we're going to have to get on into this because there are 10 cards and I don't want this video to be too long. Also, a little fun tip, I actually finished the Funko Pop wall. It's finally done. So now I can finally have all the cool pops in the side. I'll probably even start lining them up over there, but that's besides the point. I have never dealt with such an annoying card before in my entire life. I've seen this card attached to Magic Specters. I've seen this card attached to the Barrier Statues. And I know it could be attached to many other things that would really piss me off. If this card came out around the time of 5D and GX when all I ran was bead sticks, this, would, this card would have been my best friend. But the funny thing is, is that because this card is attached to other cards that their main vulnerability is just being destroyed by battle, and this card says, no, we're going to take that away and we can go on top of the deck. This card throughout 2016 has put a sour taste in my mouth it made me hate it, and I just honestly just don't like the card. Moon Mirror Shield just honestly is just basically because of the various statues and magic specters. I just I just don't like this card because of them. Because it just especially the various statues because that's stun and I dislike stun. So let's move on. Now, you can see, I don't want to say that I hate the new Dark Magician support, but the Dark Magician support, it's either you win really quickly or you lose right off the get-go. But Dark Magical Circle, it's just... The banishing aspect is good in no matter what deck you play. Any deck that can banish is always extremely handy. But it's the plus one mechanic that it always gave to the opponent that always bugged me. Because I always looked and I always saw Eternal Soul and I just saw Navigation. And all of them never bothered me. But the concept of my stuff being banished constantly, it always made me like, Oh, I don't want to deal with this. I don't like you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. And... I just felt like when I was looking at all the cards of 2016 that really got under my skin, I really think Dark Magical Circle has kind of went down there and kind of like been giving me like a little bit of a rash. And I'm like, I don't like you. I don't like you very much. You're a good card and I'm happy that the deck got support. I just don't like that card because that card on the opposite end of me getting fucked by it, I don't like it. <laughs> Now, I'm going to make this quick and simple. Dante should just be hit already. It just, this card has been around for like, I want to say two to three years. No, I don't know three, but definitely two years. This card has just been around for way too fucking long. And it's like, I don't have any issue with Burning Abyss, but seeing the whole Speedroid Burning Abyss, PK Fire Burning Abyss, Burning Abyss by themselves. I've seen Burning Abyss with almost every kind of tech engine, and I'm just sick of seeing Dante. And when they hit Beatrice to one, when the Beatrice went to one, I was just like, why Beatrice go to one? It's Dante. Hit fucking Dante and just be done with it. And that's why I just want to see Dante at one. It's just that I'm sick of seeing this whole, especially the Phantom Knights. The Phantom Knights I really dislike, but I didn't want to put the Phantom Knights because I was so close to putting Fog Blade on this list, but I didn't. But the truth of the matter is, is that I put Dante because Dante should just be hit already. If Dante was hit already, I wouldn't have to make this whole point about why I dislike Phantom Knights because it's not the Phantom Knights, it's because Dante dumps everything and it's Dante's fault, so fuck Dante. Now, I like Magic Specters, but it's the stun combo heavy version of the deck that they basically, they bring out all their spells and trap cards, then they're like, okay, we'll get rid of our monsters so we can pendulum summon them again, and then he has the new level of monsters all over again. For me, I could definitely deal with Tornado, but as for dealing with Tempest, unless you have Twin Twister or a Mystical Space Typhoon, you're always going to be on the reversing end of that card, and it just, it's just, I don't know, I just don't like Tempest. I don't like Tempest because that deck already has three strikes, one warning, three Tempest, Tornado. It's like, you just want to just play the game, and I'm like, get the fuck out of my way, and that's why when I look at Tempest, I'm like, mm, I don't like you, you're the only reason why Mad Specters are even good, fuck you, but deep down I like Mad Specters, so whatever, I don't know, I'm very mixed feelings with it, because I like Mad Specters, but I don't like dealing with Tempest. Simple as that. <laughs> Card of Demise is just so unfair, and I feel like every deck that 
promotes card of demise is stun because they basically like well here's all my monsters which i play very little of i use card of demise draw three trap cards set them pass to my opponent and i me i'm just sitting there i'm just like i just know that these fucking trap cards are just waiting and wait for me and i'm gonna fall and bump into them because the thing is like i said before i just play combo pays decks and i need to waste my resources to play these combo cards and when the combo cards get easily knocked out like me throwing two cards for one card and then my opponent gets rid of my one card that i brought out then i'm like well there's a waste of a card there's a waste of another card and now i only have two cards my opponent has seven so who's gonna win duh my opponent no duh me <laughs>Apex Avion was such a perfect, perfect addition to Pendulums. How they made Apex Avion originally was so meant to fit in the Pendulum mechanic because they were like, okay, you summon it, you can negate, and it goes back in your hand, and the next turn you Pendulum summon it again. There's no backlash to Apex Avion. You know what it is? It's the repetitive nature of Apex Avion that gets under my skin. If they did it once or twice, I think it would, wouldn't bother me, but it's that you could constantly do it and be like retarded with it. It's that you could constantly be in your face with it and you have to constantly deal with it until it's off the field. And how I feel about Apex Avion is how I feel about Magic Spectre Tempest. It's a reoccurring fuck you to your face. And that's what I think I really dislike is the recurring like, I'm in your face, I'm in your face, I'm winning. I mean, when you're dealing with a 3,200 beat stick with 4,000 defense points, there's not many, you know, outs to it. And when they detach, they're like, now that I detached, I could destroy something and I have Felgran. It's just like, it's basically, well, he is Felgran. Rail Cannon is Felgran, basically. But I just, when I look at him at face value, I actually really, and it's a combo-based deck and it's not really stun, it's combo. And it's very rare where I actually hate combo, but I don't like that combo god. That combo god, mm-mm, nope. Rail Cannon, the fail grant ability and the destruction capability of the other train is just, it's so hard to get around. And every time when I deal with it, I lose. And when I lose, I get, I, I get salty. <laughs> when I get salty, I get angry. <laughs> totally awesome. For the people that know this about me, I am a huge fan of frogs. And I like Totally Awesome. Totally Awesome, I have almost nothing mean to say about him, except that when you face him at face value, the only thing I don't like that he does is that I don't care that he negates. I don't even care when he summons that dupe frog and I can't attack Totally Awesome. The thing I hate that Totally Awesome does is when I activate a card to try to be as a bluff that he can take that card. That's what I don't like, how he could take a card back. The recyclability that it gives you know, for totally awesome, I have no issue with. It's that he takes the card that he negates. That is too much. Herald of Perfection has been on my hated list many, many times before, but because of Herald of Perfection being used with the Cyber Angels, and they've made Cyber Angel Herald, which I even tried so I can get an idea how to face it, I learned that that deck, because of even the Star Scythes, I don't mind the Star Scythes. The thing is with Cyber Angels mixed with Herald is when Ben 10 goes, Ben 10's like, alright, I'll just search out a fairy, and that just makes my life much easier, and that, and like, Herald just feeds off of that, and I just don't like Harold because Harold is the embodiment of what I dislike and everyone knows that but you see Harold for me it's that I've tried to grown to accept Harold for what Harold is and to move past my hatred for Harold but every time when I face him I just still have that like angry vibe like when I face Harold I just I just hate it I don't want to it's not fun and I dislike it and I know I'm not the only one that feels this way about Harold but for me to really sit down if someone asked me like oh what's your top 10 hated cards Harold would be on that list because Harold shuts me down Harold negates me and Harold just doesn't let me play the game and to me playing the game is the most important quality about playing Yu-Gi-Oh and since it literally stops me from doing that one mechanic that I like to do I hate him so Harold the Perfection had to be on my list, so fuck you, Harold. <laughs> the Crimson Dragon, or whatever the fuck his new name is. But this card, being allowed to summon any synchro dragon monster, is fucking obnoxious. Being able to play Void Ogre Dragon, obnoxious. Being able to summon 
Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Obnoxious. You're obnoxious. And the card being only... It's summoning is pretty easy, because it doesn't really take that much to summon the fucking Crimson Dragon in the first place. The simple cost of just setting a spell or trap card to summon a Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon for free and fucking Void Ogre Dragon and any other fucking synchro like Start a Spark Dragon all for nothing is just obnoxious. And Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon would have been on my list if it wasn't for the Crimson Dragon. Because if it wasn't for this card, I wouldn't have such a distaste for the Crimson Dragon because for me, it's all about Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. But out of any way of summoning Crystal Wing Dragon, which I see the most, it's because of this fucking card. And this card is fucking annoying. And the thing is, when you see this card on the field, Field, you're like, okay, I have to get around Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon already, which is annoying, but the worst quality about it is that I have to first knock out Crystal Wing Dragon, but I also have to knock out this faggot, because if this fucking fucker goes on the field longer, he's just going to keep sending more cards and bringing out more bullshittery, and then I have more shit to deal with. And I think that the summoning for this card should have been a little bit more you know, technical, it should have been a little bit more harder to summon this Crimson Dragon card, but it's just, I don't like this card, this card's fucking annoying, and because it summons Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon and Void Ogre Dragon, which people know I don't like either of those cards, mm, fuck you all. Um, if I had to say goodbye like this, I'd probably go blind by the end of it, so uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new. I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section below of what you dislike and what are the top 10 hate cards for you of 2016. Now the one thing I want to stress before, if you use any of these cards, it's not a personal attack to anyone that uses them. I just dislike them. If you take my opinion offensively, you shouldn't. Like I always say you shouldn't take it offensively. But if you do, I can't help it. You shouldn't have clicked the video. Because <laughs> it's just an opinion based topic. Don't forget to like the video. If you haven't, 800 likes would be the goal if you would like to see another top 10. And I will see you guys on another Tuesday, Thursday, or Saturday. Have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Is this my punishment for disliking cards?